Good morning, kids. Today we're going to do something pretty cool, something I've never tried before. What we're going to do is you can see the top of the track there, right there. Yeah, where the where the track comes down like this, this part of the track where it comes down, you'll see that there's no cross ties. There's no way that it could support a cart because it's never had a cart on it before. Um, I just built it that way and I put that really severe bend at the top because the cart can't come over. So right now what we've got is called a shuttle coaster, meaning it goes from one end of the track to the other and then you got to roll the cart back and start over again. Um, so what we're going to do today is I've got a whole bunch of new PVC and as you might have seen from the other videos, we dug a whole bunch of more posts and so we're going to turn this into a loop coaster starting today. I've got the whole day, uh, I've got the whole day cleared, I've got all the materials, I'm ready to rock and roll. I'm ready to really kill this thing today. So what we're going to do is start by taking down this loop. I mean down this this really steep hill part that doesn't work. We're going to take it off entirely. We're going to put all new PVC pipe, all new ties, maybe add some different posts or change the heights of the post. I honestly don't know because it's all it's all new to me. What we're doing here and when I say we I pretty much mean me. What we're doing is we're designing the lift hill. So this is going to be the part of the coaster that takes us up the uh, that takes us up the hill. So I've got a camera set up to record the whole thing all day and uh, we'll time lapse it at the end so that it makes it look a whole lot easier than it is and uh, I'll see you on the other side.
that's about what you can do in a day. What's left to do are, aside from kind of some minor tweaks and adjustments and changes that always happen, you see in between each of these posts, I'm going to put a, uh, what I call a stringer, a 4x4 four four stringer or maybe a 2x6 stringer in between each of these posts to prevent the track from flexing uh, in between the posts because that's a fairly long that's a fairly long run in between two pieces of PVC and PVC again is, is pretty is pretty flexible stuff. I mean these things started out straight and look what we've done. We turned them into uh, very pretzel -y shapes. So the ties keep the PVC from going spreading apart and the cart actually keeps the PVC from spreading apart too if you look at the way the wheel assembly on the cart is built. And the 2x6 stringers or double 2x4s or a 4x4 kind of whatever whatever makes it strong enough um, that'll prevent the track from flexing in between the posts aside from safety which is obviously important the other thing that stiffening up the track does is that it prevents energy from coming out of the cart and going into the track and being absorbed into the track because if the energy is absorbed into the track it doesn't translate to speed so the stiffer the track the more the the more the track resists absorbing any energy, um, the faster your cart is going to go. Because you start out at the top of that hill there, and when you get to the top of that, when you get to the top of the first hill, that's all the kinetic energy that you've got at the beginning of the ride. So what you want to do is you want to conserve that. You want to make sure that your downhills are smooth. You want to make sure that the friction between the wheels and the track is as low as it can possibly be. You want to make sure that the track is as stiff as it can possibly be so that all of the kinetic energy that you start out with at the beginning of the thing translates into speed because that's the, that's the fun part of a roller coaster. And if you have too much speed, that's an easier problem to solve than not enough. So um, that's, that's one of the things that you ponder. So. We're going to stiffen the track up tomorrow by putting those stringers in between things, and then I think we'll be ready to we'll be ready to do a test run. We'll throw a couple of bags of sand inside the inside the cart and uh, run the cart around the track and see what happens. But for now, I am really hungry and really tired, so I I mean it this time. I'm done. See you next time.